Welcome to Lone Star Conference Basketball Media Days. I'm Reagan Radcliffe, joined alongside with DBU basketball head coach Blake Kligner and senior guard Connor Lydiak, giving an inside look today at the DBU basketball team. And coach, it's been three of the last four years that this team has advanced to the NCAA tournament. What does that say just about uh, the way this program has been elevated and really the state of the program going into this year? Well, yeah, we've had a couple of really strong years. We're pleased with the foundation that those teams have, have built for this team and uh, excited with where we're at. Uh, of course, trying to move forward and continue to try and push the ball and get, get better each and every year. Well, the big news surrounding the program and really the conference this year is the, is the addition of uh, what's made the Lone Star Conference the largest conference uh, in the nation. What can you say just about, I think, the talent level that you'll see this year and the depths uh, and, the, and the great teams that you're going to have a chance to see in the Lone Star? Yeah, this is, is going to be a great challenge for us. I mean, I think the depth of quality teams and, and institutions, we have a lot of respect uh, for the Lone Star. We're excited to be a part of what I believe is the best conference in the country. And, uh, and we know that each and every night we're going to have a great challenge against a really top level team. Connor, you're one of eight returners back from last year. You're a four-year letterman. Uh, what do you think about just in terms of the continuity? How big of a factor do you think that will play this year with the number of returners that you have coming back? Good continuity and good chemistry is something you can never really have too much of necessarily. So I think it's great that we have so many guys that saw good minutes last year coming back. And then we just coached, coached did a great job bringing in the right kind of guys to fit our system. And uh, it's just great coming into a new conference, you know, new new goals, new everything. It's great to have that many guys coming back. As we talk about this team and fans of the Lone Star Conference, a big chance now to, to see for for, the, for a lot of them the first time a look at this DBU basketball team. It seems to be a team that typically is a high flying offense, very gritty on defense. Uh, take us through that, just kind of the philosophy there and, and who are some of the guys, the playmakers that you think will make an impact this year? Well, we want to be a team that, that plays with a high level of skill and a high level of unselfishness. You know, we want to move the ball uh, and, and be able to dribble, pass, and shoot at a high level. I think Connor, as a senior, is going to be a great leader for us. Jules Miranda, Ch uh, Chandler Jacobs uh, are going to be high-impact guys. I think Jalen's really made a big jump uh, from last year to this year. Excited for what he and Carson will bring in their sophomore seasons. Uh, in addition, you've got Jonathan Washington and um, uh, Will, Heather will be a new face uh, that, that uh, will get an opportunity to play this year uh, out of New Zealand. And we're, we're excited. I think we've got a good mix. The guys have been working hard. We've had a good culture and good attitude in practice. And so we're, we're looking forward to what they can accomplish together. You know, we sit here today in the Berg Center, the home floor for, for this DBU basketball team. You think back to December of 2016, all the way until February, I think, of last year, 37 straight games that were won right here on this floor. Connor, when you think about that, what makes this this venue right here such a tough place for opponents to come in and play at? It's the fans, it really is. They show up making noise, being rowdy, and it just gives us even more energy and makes us focus even more, you know, because we want to play well for them. So it's just kind of a back and forth. Yeah, it's helped propel this team into the NCAA tournament like we talked earlier, three of the last four years. What do you feel like are the keys this season to be able to, to make another run to the postseason? Coach kind of touched about it on our offense. You know, we're an unselfish team that likes to, you know, get up and down the court. But I think uh, the main thing for us this year is defense. If we can focus on defense and, you know, just be a little tougher on that side, a little tougher to score on, I think that's going to make a huge difference for us. You get tested right off the bat, too, with not only the, the conference schedule, but you have a short non-conference schedule. You go on the road to Colorado. What can you say about that in terms of the Lone Star Conference versus RMAC Challenge and how you hope maybe those early tests will prepare you into conference play? Yeah, I think that's going to be a really good weekend. Looking forward to playing Colorado Christian, Colorado Mesa. Mesa in particular is one of the top teams in the region last year. And uh, we want to go into the RMAC and play some of the best teams and uh, try and get ready for Lone Star Conference play, which is going to be the bulk of our season because it's such a big uh, conference. So uh, on the road at Wachita, got the preseason uh, conference challenge uh, in Colorado this year, which is always uh, a challenge and uh, looking forward to those uh, experiences before we get into the heat of conference play. Outside of all the success that your teams have experienced on the floor, what a job that your team has done in the classroom as well. I think it's four straight years that you've won the Academic Excellence Award through the NABC. What can you say just about uh, the emphasis that you place in the classroom and the success that your team has had there? Yeah, there's a, a lot of people that deserve credit for that. Obviously, the players uh, care. They, they've worked hard at it. Our coaching staff, I think, has done a good job of, of setting a tone. But the guys have done well. They've worked hard and uh, and been able to, to be successful in the classroom. And um, that's what we want. We want them to go on and, and be successful after college. And that's why they're here. And so I'm glad glad that they're getting a, an education and doing well. 
But for DBU head basketball coach Blake Kligner, for senior guard Connor Lidiak, I'm Reagan Radcliffe. Thanks for joining us today on our look at the DBU basketball team on Lone Star Conference Media Day.